Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ratchet and Clank HD Collection. So in this episode I'm going to tell you about something that happened to me today. Uh, we're going to shoot those caterpillar things that are flying through the sky with uh, a ship. Uh, spoiler alert! Sorry guys. Um, although I'm sure most people know this game by now. And I think I mentioned it in the last video anyway so it was already spoiled for you. So first we're going to buy the Visibon gun because let's face it it's a damn awesome weapon. Uh, I'm going to leave the Walloper and the decoy glove for possibly after I finish the main story. So, stats for that weapon should be coming up about now, and I'm going to show you how you work it. Basically, you fire it, and then you control a missile, which flies around the map, and then can blow the heck out of whatever you want. Like I just did with that thing that looked a bit like Squidward. Not Squidward, what's it called? Patrick, from uh, Spongebob. Um, so yeah, we can take out a few of these guys, just clear the path. It's easier if you kill them now, to be fair. Now I've got the weapon, I may as well. But there's a cutscene now, so we'll do that now. Hey, you two are the first friendly faces I've seen in weeks. You are friendly, aren't you? To you, yes. To him, no. Well, friend, have I got a deal for you. Since the Blarg <laughs> began dumping their toxic sludge into our ocean, the wildlife has, uh... Become ravenous mutants? Yes, you could say that. All my customers either left or became lunch. <laughs> so I'm closing the place down. However, I just so happen to have one, count them one, O2 mask left. How much? It's not for sale. <laughs> but you said... I said I had a deal, and indeed I do. You boys get rid of those Blarg ships, and it's yours. Just escort me to the other end of this resort, and you can use our jet fighter. <laughs> jet fighter, eh? Alright. But you better not try to stiff us. <laughs> okay, so the spoiler I gave you, uh, only spoiled about... Four, five seconds, maybe 20 seconds of the game, uh, because he just told you we're using a jet fighter. So we have to guide him basically to the end of the map, where he will allow us to use his jet fighter. But I'm just quickly using the Visibon gun now to clear up as many enemies in the path as I can. While I'm doing that, I'll tell you about what I was going to say. Basically, I also want to record footage from Game Boy games, so all the Game Boys, that's Game Boy Advance, the original Game Boy, Game Boy Color, because there's so many great games. I really want to upload like a retro game at the same time as doing a main game like this, so we can um, have a bit more variety to the channel. Can't get my words out today. Um, and I ordered the GameCube with the Game Boy Player, but it turns out I've got a GameCube for the UK, so that's the PAL region, and I got a Game Boy Player from Japan, which means they're not compatible. So I'm currently bidding on eBay to try and get an English one. And I've ordered the disc for an English one as well, but the thing is, it's so expensive. It's really costing me an arm and a leg, and I'm a student, so I can't afford it. Anyway, this is my last Visibomb shot, so I'm going to try and make it a good one. See if I can pick up something decent. I'm not sure what's up here, actually. Oh, no, wait, wait, what? Oh. Well, that was a great last shot. It went really well. Anyway, let's get the bomb glove, and we'll clear up the last of these fish. Did he just come out of the wall? Looked like it. But yeah, basically I'm a student, I don't have a lot of money and I can't really afford to keep on buying bits and pieces for the YouTube channel, but I'm still doing that because I've bought acoustics foam, of which I'm using some now because I'm in my kitchen, which is really echoey, so hopefully it's not echoing. Right, I'm trying to get on the windscreen up here. Oh, I fell in. Terrible. Basically, if you're on the windscreen, you don't get attacked by all the fish that jump out at you, but you can still attack them, and it's a real pain when you're being attacked by the fish. You can see a couple of them in the water there, and one just jumped out. Let me get on the glass. Yep, we're good. Alright. So you stand up here and then just bomb them. And it's great. You can take out loads at once. Like that. Happy days. Um, so yeah. So, I mean, I just gave you a hint of some of the things I want to do with this channel there. And basically, I want to have multiple platforms uploading. So that's from PC, from Game Boy, uh, PlayStation, of all PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and eventually PlayStation 4. Uh, what else can I do? Also, I'm planning on getting a uh, 3DS, and I've just seen something that I'm interested in. I need to get the Sonic Summoner out, so I'll just do that now. Oh, look at that guy in here. Um, it's not an item, no, it's a gadget. But the guy's just jumped, and he looks like he's doing some sort of ballet in the place that he paused it. Right, so I'm coming over here with the Sonic Summoner, because I just saw this sand house. Sand house? Sand mouse house. Sand mouse house. Say that 20 times fast. Um... And this sand mouse, as I've shown you before, is great. He'll come along and be my buddy and uh, help slaughter all of the innocent fishies. Well, I say innocent, but they keep attacking me with spikes. This is slow. <laughs> okay, here we go. Right, let's carry on. 
get some bolts, get some nanotech, which I don't need. Blow up some fishies. I probably should have used the uh, busy bomb gun a little bit more here to take out some of them. But I've got my sand mouse, he'll do it for me. I don't know if I'll actually make it any quicker. This is quite a long level. I reckon it could take me 20, 25 minutes to do the whole thing. So I just remembered that after I do this bit, which then there's the bit where you're using the jet plane, and then after that there's another area that you have to go to. So it could be quite long. Um, I'll probably still keep it all in one video, but uh, if you would like to, let me know in the comments whether you think that long videos are okay. If you'd rather that I broke up videos that were like 25, 30 minutes long into two smaller videos, then I can do, and I could do like you know, part one and part two. But at the moment, I'm just doing it a plan at a time. So if this planet takes me half an hour, the video I upload will be half an hour. If that's cool, uh, please say so. If you'd rather I didn't do that, also please say so. Any feedback is great. And thank you very much to anybody who actually commented in the last video to say whether they thought it was a dog or a chicken. At the time I'm recording this, it's just Hayden Plays that has done that. And actually today I was over with Hayden because we live, well actually we're neighbours, like our houses are right next to each other. Um, I was actually just round there and we were testing out his new mic because I've got the uh, Blue Snowball, which is a great mic, and he's got the Blue Yeti, which is a more expensive, better version. But he's not a student, so he can get away with um, spending his money more than I can. I have to be more careful. But those caterpillar things are dumping all the toxic sludge, as the guy said. Yeah, we've got to take out some of these fishies. Let's get a few more. Ah, never mind. Load them up. Shoot the fishies. Shoot the fishies. Not the poor fishies. This guy just looks so oblivious. He is, he's just looking up like, yeah, yeah, I'm just driving the boat. There's fish with spikes, like, flipping against me. Never mind. Okay, look. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. He's in my leg. Hit me in the face. I'm throwing bombs through his face. He's just casually... Casually going along with that. What a lad. Right, get these crates. Now there's some cool bridges up here, um, if I remember. There's one of them. It's just the way they open up. I mean, this one it is, it is pretty cool. Quite futuristic -y, which I suppose Ratchet and Clank was going for. Although, it's something I actually didn't really process until today. Because I was just saying earlier about you know retro games and then more modern games. I always think of this as a more modern game, but it came out when I was seven years old. And I'm now 19, so that's ridiculous. This game is really old, but it it's aged so well because of the bright colours. I mean, obviously this is the HD one, but um, even still. Anyway, stand on this button and get another bridge. More futuristic skills. That doesn't even make logical sense. I mean, there's no hole for it to go through. It just doesn't work. But uh, never mind. We don't question the physics of Ratchet and Clank. Lots of fishies. I think, yeah, when I was trying to go for uh, my last shot with the Vitamon gun, I probably would have brought it around here and taken out a load of these fish, but um, I didn't do that because I ended up hitting a building. And, ooh, I just threw the thing and it hit them. Didn't even know if it would. Right, we are now at where we need to get. Just gonna kill off this last fish and grab these bolts. Here comes the fishy. Bam, he's dead. Okay, here's where the cutscene is. We're here. Now where's that fighter? Right there in that locked garage. One tourist crashes a jet and wham! <laughs> lawsuit. That lock is unlike any I have seen. Very astute observation, Mr. Shiny. I can't open it either. I don't trust the tourist. And the board of directors don't trust me. <laughs> so we have a little problem. We have a little problem. I just want the O2 mask. So if you can't open up the lock, that's your problem. Now cough up the mask. Well, I can see that you really wanted to fly our jet. So I'll tell you what. <laughs> Go talk to Bob at his robo chat. He knows about these locks. That guy is such a sleaze, but he's probably one of my favorite NPCs in the game. That's a non-player character. Um, anyway, to Rob's robo chat. Well, well, what do we got here? Hey, watch it. I recognize that work. Y'all been to Seattle, ain't you? Yeah, he installed the helipack. I can see that. I taught that idiot brother of mine everything he knows. Look, if you want some real hardware, I can fix this little fella up with a thruster pack. Ooh. Will it help us get past that weird lock by the fighter garage? Ah, you know about those gizmos, huh? Well, it sure as heck will. It's got a real special power slam move built right in. It's a good thing I need this to get to that jet, or you'd be out of luck, pal. More money? I've got it. I'll have you fixed up faster than a horny toad a-hoppin'. 
Well, there you are, little buddy. Better new. That's right. I am the man. <sighs> yeah, not bad. I feel like there's too much friction between Ratchet and Clank. It's like over dramatized. Anyway, that's how you do your power slam. Jump and press R1. Like so. And now we can use the ship, which is what we came here for. So let's go fly. This is so much fun. I really love this. Um, you can navigate yourself all around all these bits and pieces without blowing up. That was close. <laughs> Just collect some more rockets, top myself up, and fly straight into one of the caterpillar things. I don't know what they're called. I know they're dumping waste. It could be just like waste ships. But I think they look a bit like caterpillars, so that's what I call them. Anyway, let's shoot them down. You can go a lot faster as well if you like hold X while you're flying. But um, they've got this one out of four already down. Uh, let's lock on. Yeah. Let's, oh, no. That, that's going to miss. Yep. I might just shoot them with the machine gun next time. Right, top up my rockets. There you are, now I'm flying faster. That's when you hold X. Let's blow them up on the thingy. Yeah, fly through this. Oh, them skills. To be fair, I could have blown up there. Like The amount of times I've blown up trying to fly through that is ridiculous. <sighs> I think two of them just collided with each other. And he just collided with another guy. Or is he shooting his friends? I can't tell. Oh, go away. There we go. How many we got left? So we've got all three, but they're all falling apart. Shoot him. We've got full rockets, so I can just... Oh, oh god. Apparently you can just fly straight through them. <laughs> Apparently. Okay, right. Let's turn in and get some long shots off from a distance. Pick him up. Just keep spamming rockets at him or break him. Oh no, I missed that one. Oh, go away, guys. So mean. Oh, that's alright, my health is basically full now. Oh, it is now. Grab that. What about need it? Um. I might try and fly through this again. Here we go, let's do it. Oh! oh no way! So apparently if you um, hold X to go faster as you're trying to go down, I mean, it makes sense. It put, it boosts you and pulls you back up. Um, that makes sense, but that's a pain. I've got to go and shoot these all down again. So I'll faff about a bit less. A bit less? A bit less? Oh, there's my ship. I'll faff about a bit less this time and actually just uh, shoot them down the way I should be doing. Speed it up a bit. Getting knocked out of the way. But note to self, don't accelerate when trying to go through a really narrow space. I'm just trying to think if I actually ever fly this again. You fly... You have one more flying sequence in this game. I know in the second one there's parts which are actually my least favourite parts of the second game. There are sequences where you have to fly um, uh, your a jet fighter, which is actually just your ship. You can customise it and play with that. But I'll be starting that playthrough really soon actually. I'm hoping to start Bioshock today or tomorrow and start uploading that sometime later in the week and as soon as I finish this I'll start on Ratchet Clank 2 and I will probably have this finished uh, by the end of the week as well I'm planning on doing maybe two a day at the moment so we're not far off being finished okay how many more have I got to shoot down what's with that? oh no it's trying to break it I was just saying there's a big gap there right take out this one as well and that leaves me with one or two I haven't really been tracking what I'm doing I'm just flying around and shooting I think it's just one left Let's have a look. Um, yeah, there's just one over there. Get rid of that. Okay, I am think I'm going to risk flying through. No, I'm not. <laughs> I was thinking about flying back through that archway again, but I thought maybe not. That's what killed me last time. But yeah, as I said a little while ago, um, I was playing with uh, Hayden Plays. We were playing Worms and testing out his new thing, and I just completed the mission! Woo! Um, well, I guess that should do it. <laughs> Here you go. It's about time. There we go. That means we can go back to Planet Auxon as well and do the part we need to do as Ratchet because we can now breathe there. But um, as I was saying, I was playing at Hayden's, the Hayden Plays. I will put a link to his channel in the description below. 
just in case anybody wants to go and check that out. Um, we're not going to upload anything we did today, I don't think. It was more just to test out his microphone and have a bit of fun playing Worms. He, I think, is going to start recording and uploading again soon? Like, today? Tomorrow? I don't know. Um, anyway, this takes us back to our ship. So yeah, check him out if you want to. Um, he does a lot of stuff for, like, Destiny, which I think he's now going to stop, and he's going to get more involved with Far Cry and Battlefield and those type of games. Hey, look, there's a parachute with, um, I don't know, is that ammo or is that... Yeah, it's ammo. No way, that was the reason when I shot it. I thought it would despawn. Apparently not. I can't actually swim out there, that's quite sad. I thought I could go and get it. That's really cool though. I've never seen that happen before. Uh, yep, there you are, and it blows up and it hits the water. Anyway, I now have the fun task of swimming all the way back to my ship because I can't jump up here. This is where the hydro pack would come in handy. But as you can see with the O2 mask, when you're underwater, you don't get the, um, uh, what's it called? The bubbles thing. Basically your, your air tank count. Sorry, I had to make a little cut there, like my controller went a bit buggy and um, it would it stopped uh, me moving. I don't know why, so I just had to turn it off and on again. The old traditional turn off and turn on. Right, so we're not... Why am I going back to my ship? I don't need to go back to my ship, do I? Um, yeah, we need to go and do the other parts. This is why I said it takes quite a while. We have to go down into the sewers. I didn't actually stop long enough for it to show you what it said on that thing, but it said, visit the scenic Joai Resort sewers. So these are very scenic sewers, so we can have a great time enjoying the scenery as we swim through everybody's waste. Delightful! But yeah, the Hydro Pack, which we get later, really helps you out because you can go so much faster underwater. And it's the last of Clank's upgrades in this game. Alright, these are Amoeboids, which we've met before, because I remember uh, when we recorded uh, Rilgar, I was going on about how it was stupid that they called Amoeboids when amoebas are single-celled organisms and these things keep breaking up. A little bit of biology facts for all you uh, bio-nerds like myself out there. Oh, I need to get out the uh, Hydro Displacer. There we go, chuck on my Quick Select, that'll help me. Quite a lot of Hydro Displacing I think that needs doing here. Right, let's go. Um, I can't remember if I need to refill this again after opening the door, do I? I think I might do actually. Anyway, trespasser, let's get through here. Um, I don't remember the layouts of these. Oh, this one doesn't look too tricky at all. Actually, it should be fine. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I need to add the water back in. Okay, off we go again. Nice and speedy. Yeah, you can use the thruster back when you're in water. Nice one. Alright, fill the water back up. Is this the only time you need to use the hydro displacer? No, you do need to use it again, I'm pretty sure. That's why I put it in my quick select. My uh, hunch was right, I think. I think. We haven't got there yet. But yeah, this video is already coming up for almost 20 minutes. So I think it's going to be about 25 minutes uh, before I finish. Maybe a bit longer, actually. I'm not quite sure. It's quite a long one. Uh, the next video, I'm trying to think what we're going to go next. We're going to go to Planet Orcs, and that will probably be quite long as well, because I have a habit of dying there quite a lot. Right, um, let's dodge all these guys, this can be a real pain. Hey, my glove of doom just like disappeared into the wall. Oh, getting hit already. Not good, not good. Okay, let's glove of doom them. Got a few more. Oh. Dodging with my mad skills. Oh no, I got hit. <laughs> this is actually getting a bit dangerous. I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah. Let's take a safe, safe position. What are they doing? Oh no, those ones are burning up. These guys in front of me though, they're just they're just sniffing around on the floor. Go and do something. Let's attract them. Come on, guys. Come to me. Come on, notice them! Oh my word, they're useless. The love of Doom's only weakness, the amoeboids. I've easily got enough amoeboids to take them out, surely. Amoeboids and enough um little minion-y things. Come on, it's taking too long. Wrench, wrench. When in doubt, oh no, oh no, ooh, ooh, that was so close. Oh no, 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 I don't accept that, that's not cool, that's not cool at all, I just got killed by the Amoeboids. At least the door's already open, um, silver linings I suppose, that's not a silver lining, nothing is a silver lining to that, at least when I died in Battalia I just sort of like, 
to the stupid jump off the end. This was a, like a legitimate death. I got properly killed by an enemy. I'm not taking any any poop from these guys this time. I'm just gonna blast them all into lots of little pieces. Get millions of little minions, millions of minions. Oh, what is happening? I can hear them all making weird noises. Split them. No, don't want to shoot the little guy. I don't know if I can reach him from here, actually, can I? No, I might be out of range. Anyway, now comes the fun part. We're going to get our revenge by just running around the fire center. Screams! The screams of pain. I love it. This is my revenge killing. I've got them all. No! Ooh! That was close. Okay, I'm happy now. I may have died, but I got my revenge killing by burning them all to death after splitting them into lots of little pieces with a blaster. I'm a bit vicious. I think I might be a bit of a sociopath. Ratchet the sociopath. Those yellow platforms look like they should be uh, falling when you step on them. They should like swing down, but they don't. I don't know why they have them in different colours. It really confused me. My simple mind couldn't handle it. Okay, jump over them. Do this trespasser thing. Um, no. Yeah. There we go, that wasn't too bad. I think there's one, I don't know if it's this game, in this level, or in Planet Orcs, and there's one that is really tricky. I think it's on this one, actually. I don't think, I think it's just the hardest one in the game. It's not, like, really, really tricky. But it does take a lot longer than the other ones. Um, I can't actually remember how to do it. And yes, I know I say that I leave no crate behind, but I am going to avoid these exploding crates, because, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Spoiler alert, that's what I was looking for. Um, they are part of a... I'm actually going to get this one because it's got um, ammo. But um, they're part of a skill point. So I don't... Oh, I got hit! I'm not doing very well. But because they're part of a skill point, I'm going to leave them alone. I don't really want to disrupt my skill point collection video at the end. I want to have them all ready to get at the end after I've beaten Drek and done the main story. Right, um, how am I going to take on these guys? Let's just... Uh, Get up and out of the way. It's like playing rugby, you're just stepping them in. Get the bolts. Oh, so many bolts, I love it. Um, yeah, it's all about the blaster. Oh, <laughs> that's brilliant. Both of them went in the water. Let's get both of them. Oh no, just one. Never mind. Never mind. One of them went in. Right, um, should I fire size them again? No, I know what I'll do. We're going to suck cannon them. I haven't used the suck cannon much. I know um, at the moment, I can't remember what their channel's called. Super Gaming Brothers? I think it's Super Gaming Brothers. Super Gaming Rose. Um, I was watching their Let's Play of Ratchet and Clank because they're actually doing it at the same time as me. I thought a lot, you know, because it had been done so much, a lot of people, you, know, you don't really get people Let's Playing this game anymore because it's quite an old game. But um, no, they're doing one at the same time and I've noticed they use the suck cannon quite a lot. They're quite keen on it, uh, whereas I don't tend to. But when I think about it, it's free. Actually, this is the difficult one, I think. But yeah, that's uh, when you don't have to pay for ammo for a suck cannon, you may as well use it. There's no reason not to. Um, okay, that that looks good. No, yes. I'm sure this can't be this difficult. Why am I just not thinking right? You guys are probably looking at this thinking, oh, it's so obvious, Nick. You do that. Wait, but then that one's blocked. No. No! <laughs> um, actually, if I could... No, that's... I need the inside one to be on um, the bottom two. Yeah? Yeah, I think I need it on the bottom two. You need it, no, not the bottom two. The, yeah, the bottom one and the next one along. That way nothing's blocked. Is that doing it? No, yeah, it has to be there. Those two. Um, why can't I get this? Why? Why is my brain not working? Can't be. No, that's why. Um, yeah. Actually, that could be on the those two there though. That's not doing anything at the moment. So, um, this is terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm taking forever. Yeah, that can only be on that. No, why? Back. What, what am I doing? Hey, there we go. Yeah, I thought that's a bit 
that that took so long. That's actually embarrassing. That's really embarrassing. But look who it is. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm searching for a very elusive and secret substance. Raritanium? Um, maybe? The oceans on this planet are said to be an excellent source of that element. Well, not anymore. All that toxic dumping has obscured any trace of it. You will find raritanium for me. No, I will not. Piece of junk. My latest invention, the Persuader. I intended to use it to control mines, but... Well, the only thing it's gotten me so far is a discount from Gadgetron vendors. Hey, I could use that. Well, I'll trade it for some raritanium. I believe planet Hoven is a source of that element. I'm pretty sure that's the mouse that we rescued from the Blarg station. Uh, the guy who gave us the Magna Boots after we killed the mutant frogs that we're trying to get in. I'm sure it's the same guy. Uh, if anyone knows whether it is or isn't, let me know in the comments. I think it is. Pretty confident it is. Anyway, that is it. We've done this level now. That's everything we need to do. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've obviously enjoyed playing it. Next time we'll be going back to Auckland to finish off the bit with Ratchet. So, thank you very much. Have a good one and goodbye.